very much, uh, uh, Sir Christopher, and it's a great pleasure to serve under your, under your chairmanship. I don't want to speak for, for very long uh, in, in this debate, but I do want to start by raising a very important point, which is one about international arbitration. And I do so <clears throat> wearing my hat as the chair of the all-party parliamentary group on alternative dispute resolution which looks at arbitration, mediation, and other forms of alternative dispute resolution. And one of the things that I was very pleased to see was that the withdrawal agreement uh, committed us to uh, international arbitration uh, to resolve any disputes between us and the, and the European Union uh, as, we, as we exit it. And I think that that is a very positive a step forward and a very good compromise to have got uh, from the European Union. So I, I, I do pay tribute uh, to the authors of, uh, of the withdrawal agreement for, for having got the EU to agree to that. The reason I put so much emphasis on international arbitration is because it is arguably an, an increasingly cheaper and a much quicker way of resolving disputes. And as we have, have already heard, uh, we are a leading center for that. The, the number of people that come to us from around the world is, is really quite a, quite, quite, quite a good indicator uh, of that. And the reason they do that is because of the combination that we have of uh, distinguished judges, of distinguished arbitrators, uh, and um, particularly the prevalence of English law, which is admired uh, around uh, the world. I, I raised this issue uh, this week uh, with the Lord Chief Justice, uh, and I, I, the question that I asked him was how secure was he that we were likely to be able to continue uh, with this regime after Brexit. And the, the, point that, uh, the points that, that he raised were firstly that with the number of judges being so, uh, so diminished at the moment, it was very difficult to, to, to see that uh, continuing unless we did something about that. And I think that that is a very important point. Not that arbitration is entirely and solely based on judges, but we do need judges with a great deal of responsibility there. The second thing that, that, that he said was a, a point that I'd uh, already raised in intervention is that we need to be more aware of the alternative centers that are emerging around the world to be able to deal with this. And I mentioned uh, Singapore uh, in, in this, which uh, has put a tremendous amount of effort into being able to develop a commercial solution to this. And I hope that um, during, during the summer recess, assuming that we, we, we still have one, uh, that, that I will be able to go out to Singapore and to see for myself how those arbitration courts work and, uh, and to be able to see for myself also what sort of cases uh, they are dealing with. So these are important uh, things that we should be concentrating on. My Honourable Friend has already said how, the le how legal services provide an enormous uh, contribution to the UK economic activity. Uh, and I'm not going to repeat uh, what, what he has said about that, just to underline that uh, as, as being the phenomenal contribution that they, that they do make. And the, the, therefore, I think that I would like to see uh, much more emphasis uh, put on the tying up of these elements of not taking for granted our legal position uh, as the preeminent um, uh, uh, jurisdiction for arbitration, but, but, but some fight, some fight in our, in our officials to be able to ensure that we keep that jurisdiction, we keep that reputation uh, to be able to, to continue with this. Now, I, I've already mentioned um, uh, the, the, the importance of ensuring that we have a, some sort of reciprocal arrangement uh, for the family courts. Uh, and I would, I would like to, to stress that. My, my Honourable Friend mentioned uh, Brussels too uh, and, uh, and, and the, uh, the, um, the uh, maintenance regulations that, that, that apply to that. I mean, they are not the ideal form 
of, um, of, 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 governance to, to, of governance of the situation to have uh, with the European Union. But they are undoubt, undoubtedly better than what, they, what, what preceded them. Uh, and, and I think that we should be very careful about, uh, uh, about throwing, them, throw, throwing them out um, uh, in, the, in the first place. So it, I was quite disappointed when I read through the withdrawal agreement not to see more about the protection of uh, legal services. I think that is a gap. It would have been nice to have seen more uh, about how they are going to operate uh, in, this, in this new environment. Uh, and how the recognition of, um, of qualifications is going to be able to continue beyond the transition period. Now, all of these points have already been raised during this debate, but I'm very happy to, to, to make them again because I do think that they are important and I do think that we need an answer for them.